What were you doing in the garden, Jamie? Well, don't laugh, but I'm watching insects. I've been reading some stuff from school, and now I've got some doubts. My doubts arose while I was watching a worm. The teacher said that we can move thanks to the skeleton and the muscles. But worms haven't got any skeleton, and they can also move. I think you haven't heard a word of what our teacher said. What's that, miss? This is a human skeleton. The skeleton is the hard part of our body. The skeleton is useful for protection and is a point of support so that when our muscles push, they can make the body move. But are all skeletons the same? What's the difference? Some skeletons are inside the body while others are outside. An example of the inner skeleton or endoskeleton is that of vertebrates, like the human beings, which comprises of inner bones. What is the other type? The other type of hard skeleton is the exoskeleton. It's called this way because the hard part is located on the outside of the animal body. I can't imagine an animal like that. Insects, for example, have got a hard skeleton surrounding their body. That's an example of exoskeleton. We can move thanks to the skeleton, but how? To understand this, you must know that the skeleton comprises parts that are connected to each other, and that in between those parts there are muscles which provide the necessary strength to move. Do all animals move in that way? Some animals, like the worms, haven't got hard structures like the bones or the cuticles, so their movements are different. But I don't understand. How can they move then? Well, they can move thanks to their muscles, the water they've got inside, and some little spines called chaitai or saitai that they use to attach to the soil. Now I can understand how worms move. Imagine that you've got a hose close by its ends with water inside it. If you press one of the ends of the hose, the water will move to the other end. Making this part widen. Oh, right. So the chayote on the front part of the warm body attached to the surrounding soil. And as the worm retracts the back end of its body, it moves forward. That's it. Now let's look for a worm in order to watch it. All right? Hey, don't forget to subscribe and answer the question. You can also click the links on the right to continue learning and click the like button. We appreciate your help. See ya!